Welcome back. My name is Vince, and today I want to do a quick introduction into Web SDR. Now, Web SDR is a site where you can go on the computer and listen to ham radio or other stations in a certain frequency range. Now, the frequency range will depend on the Web SDR you are using. Now, to get to this page, I opened the browser and I typed in Web sdr.org and when I opened it I came right to here. Now you notice on the left hand side it will give the web sdr with the URL to it and the amount of users. In the middle here is the frequency ranges that this particular one covers. and You'll see the different colors because they associate the color with the frequency range. You'll see this is only one frequency range, so it's only one color where this has multiple and this has multiple. On the right hand side, it tells you which antennas are being used. And it's spaced here for like the 0 to 2.0 millihertz is covered by this G5R redouble. And then you go up to this frequency range and you got a NBIS G5RB. And then down here, this G5R redouble covers two frequency ranges. Now when I'm looking for a web SDR to pick up a particular station, I try to get close to that station, but I don't want to be too close where the signal can go right over my head. I try to catch it on the first hop, which is usually 500 to 1,000 miles from the station I'm trying to reach. Unless you are looking at a NBIS antenna, which is low to the ground, which you'll see this is at 3 meters, which means it's approximately 9 to 10 foot off the ground. Now, when I'm looking for one, I like to find one that has a low noise and is actually a receiving loop. That tends to give me the best results. Now what you could do is you could click on the link or you could click anywhere on it and it usually opens up to the page. Now it'll start and it may not have any audio so you got to look somewhere on the page. Usually right here in this section right above it you'll see something that says start audio or start chrome audio or something of the sort. Click that. And the audio now I was fortunate to be on a frequency where somebody was on this one, so he came right in. To tune, you can just click on another signal, and then you can use your mouse wheel for fine tuning. And down here you have your band ranges right here, 80, 40, 20, over here is the S meter, you can pick your mode here, you got your band pass you can set here, or you can set it by just grabbing these, and moving them out a little bit. Vom, vom Gewicht her so, wenn man sowas mitschluren will, ist das eigentlich sehr, ist das eigentlich akzeptabel. Ja, und das war auch noch günstig, ne, für den Huni kann man da nicht mehr kommen. So, ich muss aber, ich muss aber tatsächlich also. nochmal auf die Straße. Ja, ich habe EPF Builder. Ich weiß nicht so ganz genau, wann ich wieder hier bin. Ich weiß nicht so ganz genau, wann ich wieder hier bin. Aber ich muss erst mal noch mal nach IT und hoffe schon meine Mädels einladen. Ich habe nur einen Hohle vor hier, aber... Uh, in you got your volume control, you got manual squelch, you got noise reduction. Yeah, this is over mine, eh, Cox? To get changed the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna exit out of this one. Let's try another one. Let's say I'm looking for something on 20 meters. And this northern Utah one's usually pretty good. And it's in the 20 meter range here. So I'm gonna click it. And now getting back to what I said in the beginning about colors, you'll see the different colors cover different frequency ranges. See so yeah, how yellow covers from 2200 to 40 meter. Green covers from 30 meter down to 6 meter. 
and then you'll have some other colors that cover particular frequencies. Here's another green that's 30 down to 10 meter. I'm going to click this one and when it opens. This one didn't have any sound issues, but over here is your sound. If you're using Chrome or if you're using Firefox. I'm actually using Brave, but I believe that falls under Chrome. And you see this one set up a little differently, but it's still got all the same controls. You got your bands here. You got here. You got here. Same thing. Here you got a, like a band and a mode. And a mode. It stops you. Over here is your S meter. Your squelch, your volume. This one actually gives you an. A notch filter and it also gives you a CW control. And if you scroll down a little further, it tells you there's 157 users. And it kind of gives you the frequency ranges of the users. Let's back out of that one. Now what's also good about this is sometimes you could go and try a band that you've never used before to get a little familiar with it. Well, I hope this was interesting. I hope it gave you a new tool. You could use it during nets to hear someone you can't hear or you could use it chasing DX. Remember there'd be a time delay and you also have to turn the volume down on the web SDR before you try to transmit into a microphone or you'll have a self-oscillating issue. Please remember to subscribe. Ding that bell. A like is always appreciated. 73.